day 60. This felt monumental because I remembered what it was like to celebrate day 30, the first month. So to get to two months in, it felt excellent and very established. And I wrote, it didn't matter that it was freezing today. My joy at my own consistency carried me through. And yes, I celebrated, and you can see the reel down below, with a gladiator hair flick. I wrote, oh wow, the outfits are getting less coordinated. The, fa the hair is getting bigger and more out of control. And the face looks particularly tired in this cold, freezing weather today. But I did it. Two months, 60 days, 900 minutes minimum, sometimes I do more than 15, aka 15 hours. Who knew how life-changing a small habit can be? Here's what I want to say today. There is sometimes this, I'm going to say illusion, because I know many of you who are watching this are busy people. You have to work and live and care and do things and uh, you're needed in so many different capacities. And I believe because society tells us this, that one day we will have white space in our calendar where we don't have to do anything. Remember like the six weeks holidays, that moment in July where you broke up from school and you're like, I am so free until September. This feels so good. And even in our house, like we have to do jobs around the house and we couldn't, <laughs> God, I can hear it already. I'm going back to that place. My mum was never of the thing of like, just stay in bed all day and like watch telly. There always had to be this sense of, you know, doing things and, um, yeah, not being lazy. She, she definitely didn't want to do that. And so many of us, I don't think, necessarily have the privilege of just saying, I'll do that project when I have six months off work. And I realise this, especially as an adult, that I'm not probably going to have that six weeks holiday unless I make it happen for myself. And so the only way to still do all of the things that I want to do is to make it happen and break it down into small chunks so it feels manageable, it feels possible, it feels like I'm moving in the right direction. Because me putting something out there in the future of me saying, oh yeah, I'll do that when I've got more time or I've got a couple of spare weeks floating around, I know that I'm lying to myself because the way that my life and business is set up at the moment, that is not a reality. And I'm certainly not putting in things where I'm like, I'm going to take six months off to do that thing. It's not possible at this stage. I mean, it might be possible, but it's not on my agenda. It's not on my priority list. I'm not finding a way to make that happen. And so I come back to the question of me saying, but I still want to do the thing. So how am I going to do that? My question for you today is what could you do with 15 minutes every single day? And fast forward 60 days from now, imagine you've cultivated 15 hours in two months, 900 minutes minimum. If you've got more time, great, add it in. But imagine what you could do. Maybe you want to write a book. Imagine what you could write in 15 hours. It could be pretty incredible. So instead of just shelving these things until you've got more time, I invite you today to bring them in. See you tomorrow for day 61. Bye.